Hi guys, welcome back to our Gregory home. So spring is upon us and summer is just around the corner. We have so many butterflies around our house and I was so inspired to make a butterfly DIY for you guys. So if you would like to see how I created these fun butterfly DIYs, stay tuned. go ahead and start with this wild and free canvas hanging sign I picked this up from the Dollar Tree and this is totally cute by itself but of course it wasn't the style I was going for so I'm gonna be taking some white Waverly chalk paint and then also this kind of mustard color that I picked up from Walmart for 50 cents and I just mix those two together to create a base yellow color and I'm just gonna be painting over that entire canvas Now while the canvas is still wet, I'm going to be taking that mustard color and I'm just going to be blending that in. So I did go online and find some inspiration. I really wanted to make a like a really cool butterfly poster that kind of had different butterflies on it. So now I'm taking these stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree and these are really cool. They're kind of 3D. The wings stick out. So what's really cool is these butterflies just stick right on. I don't have to add any glue or anything. I did do one whole pack and then I repeated a couple just because I had some empty spaces. Now I'm taking this little marker that I have and I'm just writing down some butterfly names. I just went on the internet and typed up butterflies and just kind of added different names to each butterfly. I don't know if those are the exact names for that butterfly, but... I could not find the exact same ones, um, but that's okay. I just kind of went for it. So on the top, I am writing butterflies of North America. And here is what this looks like all finished. I just think that this turned out so cool and it's so vintage. I just love that whole vintage style. The paper looks old. I just really love it. And I just absolutely love how the stickers are kind of like a 3D. It kind of gives it that look like the butterflies are actually stuck on there. I just love it. Now on to the next DIY. We're going to be doing this topiary of flowers and butterflies. So I picked up this little topiary thing from the thrift store for only one dollar. I was so excited when I saw it and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm just taking my black painters marker and I am just going over those sticks uh, or the pole in the middle and I just wanted to give it a little bit of a darker look so I went over it with black. Now I'm just taking some florals that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, just some yellow, some oranges, and then some sunflowers there. And I'm just kind of poking those straight in. I did add some hot glue to a couple of them because they weren't going in. Um, but what's nice about this foam is you can just stick the flower straight in. So I'm just going through and adding a bunch of flowers all around. And I also went through and added some of the green leaves as well. Now I'm going back to those stickers that I had. Now if you were careful you can actually pull the butterfly off and leave the sticker part behind. So what I did was I just pulled the wings off and I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot glue to the flower and gluing that butterfly directly onto the flower so it looks like it's kind of just hanging out and enjoying the summer sun. So I just went through and pulled all of those butterflies off and glued them onto the flowers and on the leaves. I really wanted this to look like it was just sitting in your garden and all these butterflies were just drawn to the bright yellow. So now I'm taking this flowers and gardens bucket from Dollar Tree and I'm just sticking that straight in. And then on top, I am going to be adding some Spanish moss just to kind of hide that foam. Now, once I get that Spanish moss in there, it is finished and this is what it looks like. I 
I love the monarch butterfly on top. How many of you guys have seen monarch butterflies flying around? I just think they're so beautiful. We have so many in our yard right now and I was so inspired by all the butterflies. So I wanted to create these DIYs for you guys. Now moving on to the next project, I did use a previous project that I made for spring and it was this lavender sign. And I do always reuse projects because it saves you money and sometimes I get bored with my decor so I decided to change it up a little bit and that's what I'm doing here. So if you want to see how I made this little chalkboard sign, I will link it above in our lavender video that we did. I'm just going to be taking some black Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to be painting over all of that chalk that I did. And once this is dry, I am taking this wall stickers that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I am going to be using the Monarch stickers. So there's three Monarch stickers in total and I am going to be taking those off. I didn't quite stick them down all the way because I wanted to make sure that I liked the layout of them before I fully stuck them down. So I'm just pulling those off and, and very lightly putting them down. And then once I have all three of those off, I'm just kind of moving them around a little bit, making sure that I like the layout of them, and then fully sticking them down. Once I have those down, I am going to be taking my white painter's marker and on the very top I am just going to be writing Monarch. I just freehanded this, but if you wanted to print something out and copy that, you can do that as well. I went over it a little bit just to make the letters a little bit more thick. Now at the bottom I am taking my thin chalk marker and I am going to be writing um, the real name of the monarch butterfly and I don't know how to pronounce it, Dan Danius Plexippus? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, I think it might be French or something, um, but anyways I just looked up the real name for the monarch butterfly and I wrote that underneath. Insecta. So once that is finished, this is what it looks like. I just love this. I love the butterfly stickers, the whole watercolor look. I just, I love watercolors. I think they're so beautiful. All right, you guys, that does it for this butterfly DIY. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to make something fun for summer. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to always be creative, be unique, and most importantly, be yourself. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye.